Hi guys, so today I'm gonna explain my biogas setup. So I'll do my best to explain everything in English for the sake of other international um, viewers so that they will also understand um, what I'm talking about here. So, so let's start with the intake. So this is my intake. So basically you just need to take the lid and then here are some uh, food scraps from the kitchen so banana peel and avocado peel and also onion peel so you just put it there you can add some water i can add some water later and then you this is very important in order to avoid um, attracting insects and so here's the main component this is the digester and this one is a sandbag so this will create the weight in order to create the pressure to push the gas outside this bag in order for it to go to this hose right here so I have a control valve right here this will uh, control or shut off the valve if ever I need to fix something here or if I need to replace this tire tube so this tire tube is optional um, this will uh, store the excess gas so I need to store excess gas because uh, the system as small like this cannot sustain your uh, daily cooking yet so you need to store the gas first before using it and you need to put sa um, I mean you need to put a control valve here as well if you need to disconnect this and you need to replace with other um, storage so this is the line going to my burner so let me show you the burner this is the control valve here for you to easily um, use it if ever you are going to cook or you're gonna use it and I did not completely destroy this um, burner. Sayang kasi. So, I'll show you how I directly um, input that there on that metal. So, you see that metal? That will spread the fire. So, that metal is this metal. So, I need to put it directly there because I cannot put it on the um that tube right there because that is designed i mean this here the, the control valve here is designed for high pressure gas so since the gas in my biogas is not compressed so i cannot use this one so i'm just gonna use this line right here okay so let's go ahead and turn on the gas valve the control valve Oh, I think I did not uh, turn on here yet. So let's turn on this first. Okay, there we go. It's now on. And then turn this one on as well. There, I can hear the gas coming out now. There, I hope you can see the flame. It's blue. I'm not sure if you can see that, but let me put this there. You see the gas it's creating a lot of heat because it's a blue fire so it's almost the same with gasol the only difference is gasol is pressurized they are both high flammable gas so it's very efficient and effective if you're going to create this biogas setup but it should be bigger than this because it cannot sustain your daily cooking for now my estimation will be maybe 15 minutes of cooking daily for this uh, size of um, biogas setup that is why you need a storage so you need to store at least um, two to three days worth of gas before you can use this for maybe an hour or less than an hour of cooking okay let's turn that off 
see it's off okay so uh, for the safety because there are people who uh, commented concerning about the safety of this um, setup it is indeed uh, dangerous because first of all um, this is um, set up or this was placed I mean this is right now next to this wall right you can see the correct setup should be at least five meters away from any infrastructure um, not very close to this one and also there is no fencing on my setup this is actually a prototype temporary setup only uh, just for me to test my design so I'm working on a design right now that um, would allow us to easily or a portable biogas setup that we can easily set up in any place anywhere but we need to consider putting a fence for safety and also a warning a signage about this flammable um, material here to avoid people from um, smoking nearby and we need to inform everyone to avoid smoking near to this um, setup or this system so don't worry guys I made sure to inform everyone here to not smoke near to this setup and nobody is smoking here anyway with us so if you're going to create your own setup like this make sure it's far from any walls infrastructure far from your house at least five meters away uh, for the safety uh, purposes okay and I chose this material tarp so unlike those common biogas setup homemade biogas setup that you can find in the internet they are using drum plastic drum the blue one that we can easily buy online right those um, recycled drums I think it's 1600 each so I did not choose that because first um, it's expensive and you cannot fold it for you know if you want a portable system you want it to be uh, easily carry you can fold or whatsoever so this one you can fold this one and also for me um, although this is not that um, durable when it comes to drum if uh, someone just throw smoke in your drum it will not actually burn <laughs> the drum you know unless um, I'm not sure but maybe the cigarette will will just you know um, turn to ash before it can completely make a hole in the drum but for this one if in case of any or if this one explodes this will not create any debris that will shattered and will create the um, more damage to anyone around it because this is uh, tarp and this will just easily rip off if this one will explode so I think uh, this one might you know a little bit uh, safer compared to the drum because if the drum will explode the casing or the material since it's solid once it shattered or scattered after the explosion it can um, pierce to someone's eyes or you know it will create more harm to anyone around it unlike this setup so as much as possible you need to avoid putting some hard materials above this so if you can see i only put there um a little sandbag to create the pressure for the gas and that's what i think about this setup and it's cheaper if you're going to um i think i'm not sure yet but i'm still uh checking the price because when i requested to customize this one um i think 
uh, I spent around 1,600 still for this one but the capacity of this is I think it's around <coughs> 2 drums uh, so that's 400 liters so if, if you can see it looks uh, small like right but it was actually buried half or I think three-fourth of this was buried so you won't see the full size of this system but I'm still trying to design a bigger um, the uh, bigger system that maybe uh, triple the size of this so that it can generate uh, gas for daily cooking at least maybe an hour or two hours of uh, gas per day so right now um, this won't sustain any of our daily cooking maybe hot water in the morning will do <laughs> boiling hot water uh, not boiling hot water boiling water <laughs> all right so that's all about it uh, for today so I'll upload more video as soon as uh, my new system is ready so please subscribe to my channel and you can comment down below your questions also you can comment your suggestions to me so in order for me to um, develop and uh, make this system more effective if you have any idea please uh, comment down below so all right let me finish putting all of these kitchen scraps so this is how you do put the kitchen scraps here make sure this one is bigger and uh, i mean big enough to avoid clog especially uh, you're going to throw uh, this size of uh, trash here you're not gonna blend it anymore because it's gonna cost you electricity to blend it right so it's very i i want this to be you know uh, zero electricity or you're not gonna spend any electricity on this i want this to be completely off grid all right so that's uh all for today thank you and have a nice day